Right, well, he's been there before, but he hasn't done that. This lightweight contender worked exceedingly hard to get back to a championship setting. And this may be his last title shot. Yeah, you, you can't not get there twice. When you're there, you got to win. Or you don't get the opportunity again. This guy put his head down and went right back to work the moment he heard and still. He said that at some point, we would put the belt around his waist. He would put in the work. He would prepare. He's back here now, John. And he intends to be the champion. And when you suffer a setback, there are two ways to go. And this man went on the right trajectory. Really good to see him get back here. And now we find out that he's got the goods to be a champion. Tonight's great UFC event. Punch coming, it's blocked. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Nice jab there to the body by Felder. That jab is fast. Look at the jab. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, man, both of these guys can really take a shot. Just misses with the left hook. There. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Oh, <laughs> massive <laughs> <beautiful> by this. <laughs> Man, a big kick there. Oh, nice jab to the head by the Irish Dragon, Paul Felt. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick, Lance. Just over three minutes to go. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Blocks the shot. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Lands a kick there with the lead leg. Nice work by Felt. Well, missed on that one. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Chip, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Able to rip the body there. 
Just over two minutes to go. Circling towards the left now. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, he's got the hands going. Throws the teeth now and it lands. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, big right hand, yes. Keeping him honest with the jab. <laughs> Timely defense there, huge block for him. Less than a minute to go now in our opening round. Ooh, what a punch. <laughs> nice counter right hook there. They are throwing both sides with conviction. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Under 20 seconds now to go. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye and not only cut. But there's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. a kick to the body. Horn set for the end of round one. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's got to be the whole game, though, John. He's got to be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's dealing with that nasty cut. That cut is going to be an issue as the fight goes forward. He's got to change something. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous round. Whiffs on that offering. Good jab there by the champion. Push kick there to the body. Strike to the body here instead. It's turned away by Felt. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, punches in punches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. I love that one. I love when the guy throws a kick with that much power. Big power shot there. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm landing those nice, beautiful punches. Felder's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Beautiful strike there. Trying to find a home for that right hand. 
He checked that last one. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Two minutes to go. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game too. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. We started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing. Right, My champ starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking a oh, oh, he's hurt, he's hurt. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off to take the time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting out. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up. From bottom to top, he was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Left hand finds the target. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there and not going to help the swelling upstairs. I love his accuracy, his ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. Great block there. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Nice block. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Those are the body kicks that'll crumble you. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has 
doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Felder's taking aim at that cut right now, DC, and you got to admire the fighter IQ, right? Might as well keep landing strikes on a target that you have damaged repeatedly throughout the fight. <clears throat> Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Nice crack there. Irish Dragon gets caught by the straight punch. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Big elbow there, Lance. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, nice knee. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you've got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter. Lesson one in box class, hands up, chin down. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his strike. Oh, he's in trouble. He's getting lit up. He has to evade and stay at space. Fourth we go. His nose is all crooked, it's all beat up, it's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. Just out of range with that right hand. Nice shot by the All right, that calf kick starting to show some visible signs of bruising now. And it's exciting him. He's excited to see that all the work that they've done in preparation is showing itself in the octagon. Final seconds of round three. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, so that's the end of the round. That cut on the nose, manageable earlier, not so much right now. Really, really bad. The blood flow continuing to become a factor, and you got to think at some point, if it gets any worse, they will have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot is every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so we're going with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. 
Felder's really bleeding heavily now. That cut is only getting worse by the minute. Nice job of hiding the head kick. every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Yeah, he's got two. He's got to start checking kicks. Oh, nice jab counter for him there. Slip that one. <laughs> Felder's cut right on the bridge of his nose. Does not look good, folks. We'll continue to keep an eye on it. And you got to think the ringside physician will, too. Referee might call him in here in short order. <laughs> Lean with that offer. Push kick there to the body. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Missed with that attempt. And he blocks the shot there. He's hurt bad. Oh! Felder's cut has really opened up now, folks. I don't necessarily have to tell you that watching at home. Looks like he could stick a quarter in there. And I'm not sure how much longer this fight is going to continue. Lands with the lead right hand. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered tonight. Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though them, they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. Tags him with that uppercut. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Under 90 seconds to go. Circling to his right. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Oh, and there's that inside leg kick and just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurts because that's the soft right. part of your leg. So you land that over and over again, the guy will have a very tough time. With the oh! Shades of Robbie Lawler versus Rory McDonald as these athletes go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, both dealing with cuts and adversity and trying to fight through it. Absolutely incredible result. So many people say they want to be a fighter. If I'm trying to convince somebody not to do it, I will show them this fight. This fight has been amazing. These guys have laid it all out on the line. I wonder now who's going to be the first. All right, well, the ref's going to step in here. He has done a job on his nose. You see what I did there? Nose shot. <laughs> but, John, it's a bloody nose. We've all had bloody noses. We got bloody noses in our first fight at seven years old. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll let him keep fighting. Yeah, and he wants to continue, but he will not be afforded that opportunity. So that is it. Fans don't like it, but the doctor has to protect the fighters. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO and new UFC lightweight champion of